Welcome. In a previous video, I did a fresh install on this Mac using the Recovery Console. I'll put a link in the description of that video if you're interested in it. So in this video, I want to talk about using File Vault and especially with SSDs. So this computer has an SSD and I'll be using it. And as I use it, I'll have data that gets stored on this SSD. And someday I may not want this computer anymore. So I can try and wipe the drive, but it can be tricky to wipe an SSD. There are some utilities you can use, but a lot of those are PC only, um, things like that. So the surefire way to protect your data is to use File Vault. So on a Mac, you can go to your system preferences and you can go to security and privacy and click on this File Vault tab. And now you have to click on the lock in the bottom here and you'll have to authenticate. So you'll type your password in and you can click on this turn on file vault. And it says your iCloud account can be used to unlock your disk and reset your password, or you can create a recovery key. So you can do one of these two options. I'll create a recovery key. I continue and it's going to show the recovery key here. So you can record that and I'll hit continue again. Okay. So now you'll see here, it says encrypting. It says there's five hours remaining. That's two. I don't know. This will probably uh, go down after a while. So now it's encrypting all the data on your hard drive. And then um, your computer has a key. So if you ever reinstall the system and you wipe out that key, you've essentially wiped out all the data on the drive. It'd be very difficult to recover if at all. With a, an older generation hard drive, it was a little easier. A spinny drive, you could like say write zeros to the uh, drive to wipe it out. But on these SSDs, the controller may kind of hide different areas of the drive. So using File Vault is the preferred way to protect your data. And File Vault could slow your computer down a little bit, but on the modern computers, I don't really notice a huge difference. I run it on most of my Macs, and um, I don't really notice a big slowdown. And it's definitely worth it having the protection, especially if you're on a portable computer. Um, say you take it, you travel with it, and you leave it in your hotel room, and someone breaks in and steals it, you don't want them to have access to your data. Those are the basics and why you'd want to use File Vault. But if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.